Well, good morning, Saturday morning, guys. How is is it going? Amen. Got me a good cup of java this morning. Mm -mm. Honor my dad. It's by my LSU day. Praise God. It's going to be a good one. Of course, hope the Albies do good and all the teams. Amen. But today, I want to talk to you about Life Nugget 34, No Longer Slave. Shut up, No Longer a Slave. Amen. That's a popular song today by Bethel. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Amen. I love it, man. Got the new CD. It's awesome. Anyway, I want you to know three things this morning. Number one, just John 3.17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. I'm telling you, God didn't send Jesus in the world to condemn you. He sent Jesus into the world to save you. Can somebody say amen? You see, God's not out to get you. God's out to help you. He wants you to succeed. He wants you to be blessed. He wants your life to change. He came so that you would be set free. And I'm telling you, those the Son set free are free indeed. So he's not trying to condemn you. You see, it's through not receiving Jesus that you're condemned. Amen. But Jesus came that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. And today, if you're not living that life, receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And you will not be condemned. Amen. You, hey, God will help you. He will bless you. Man, in the past 26 years, God has blessed my life. I never would have thought that I would be or have or receive or experience of that which I have, for he does exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask, imagine, or think. And somebody this Saturday morning shout amen, hallelujah. So he didn't come to condemn you, but to save you. Romans 8, 1 says also, number two, that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. In other words, there is no uh, banishing judgment is what that means. In other words, he's not only he did he's not only wanting to condemn you, but it, he don't want to judge you either. Amen. I'm telling you, salvation is sure. Salvation and deliverance is free. God's not trying to get you. He's not trying trying to condemn you. He's not trying to judge you. I mean, who can be your foe when God is on your side? Amen. Number three, you're no longer a slave. I'm no longer a slave to fear. If fear is robbing you, if if uh, oppression is robbing you, you see those who are oppressed in the world today. We hear a lot about oppression. Well, I'm telling you, if you feel oppressed, it's not through man; it's through the devil. Can somebody say Amen? And in Acts ten thirty eight, the Bible said how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and power who went about doing good, healing all, say healing all, who were oppressed of who? The devil. I'm telling you, if you feel oppressed today, receive Jesus Christ. Amen. And be liberated from your oppression. Be liberated from your depression. Be liberated, amen, from sin and all the the, 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 the wiles and 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 things of the devil. Walk in the Spirit. Keep in step with the Spirit. For you're not condemned. God don't want to judge you. You're no longer a slave. Can somebody say amen? Listen to Romans 8, 15. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption. Amen. By whom we cry, Abba, Father, or Daddy, Daddy, or Papa, Papa. You see, the Lord came for relationship, not con to condemn you, not to judge you, not to make you a slave, but he created you for relationship and fellowship, and he wants an intimate relationship with you. He wants you to call you call him daddy or I remember the time the Lord said, Call me Papa. Call me Papa. And that means intimacy. 
It means closeness, oneness. And I'm telling you, if you're lonely today, you don't have to ever be lonely again. Amen. Call on daddy. Call on papa and let him bless you. Can somebody say amen? And lastly, because you're not judged, you're not condemned, you're no longer a slave. My friends, you're more than a conqueror through him who loved you. Shout out more than a conqueror. I'm telling you that word means you're super victorious in achieving overflowing victory for Romans 8, 37 and 38 goes on to say, for I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor demons nor principalities nor powers nor any created thing shall be able to separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So my friends this morning have an awesome weekend because you're not condemned. You're not banished to judgment. You're no longer a slave, amen, but you're adopted in God's family and nothing, shout nothing, say it again, nothing shall separate you and me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. So receive him today and no longer be a slave. Can somebody shout amen? We'll see you next time, Monday at 5 on Life Nuggets. Remember, go to danningram.org. You can hear my music. You can read the, my book, testimony book. Leave me a prayer request. Praise God. God is doing great things. And I want you to be a part of my life. I hope I'm a part of yours. Be blessed. Boom. See you Monday. Bye.